Hello everyone, this is Gary, and I'm answering a top three Tuesday question for uh, EdT1138, and the question was asked by Classic Metal Fan 22 and the question is, uh, what are the top three games that would sell a system for you or, or a friend? So, I'm going to pick the GameCube because I think that the GameCube was, was and is an underappreciated system. Some of my best gaming experiences have been on the GameCube. A lot of my favorite games of all time have been on the GameCube, so I could put like a Mario and Zelda in this in this top three, but I'm not going to because everybody already knows. You know, if, if they're, they're going to get a, a Nintendo system, they already know those are like the top tier games for those systems, so I'm going to put three other games in there that would make you want to buy a Nintendo GameCube. <coughs> Excuse me. So, my number three is Star Wars Rogue Squadron 2 Rogue Leader. And this is a terrific game. If you've never played any of the uh, Rogue Squadron games, the first one was on N64, but the second and third one are on the GameCube. And the second one, this one, in my opinion, is the best of the series. It, they are some of the best Star Wars games that I think that ever ever been made. You know, this is really an awesome game. It, it's all space combat missions. Uh, the third one, there were some land missions, but I'm not going to talk about that, you know, because I'm going to focus on this one. But yeah, the all the missions are space combat and if you love Star Wars you know this this game right here this is what sold me on getting a GameCube and this is my number three so okay my number two is going to be Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem and this game is probably my favorite survival horror game that I've ever played it's one of my most favorite games of all time, and uh, you know I'm going to show some footage of these games a bit. This game right here is really scary. Like uh, you play this with the lights off at night by yourself, and it will make you jump several times. Just sound effects alone will scare you. And there is a uh, a part of this game which is. Uh, where your characters will kind of like start going insane and it actually starts uh, kind of messing with you a little bit as you're playing the game so it kind of makes you wonder you know what what the heck's going on why is it doing this or why is it doing that but then it like snaps back to reality and you're like oh okay oh my gosh <laughs> but yeah this is this is a definite must play a game if you're going to have a game to Eternal Darkness. So my number one pick is going to be Metroid Prime. And this is also one of my favorite games of all time. I think probably, possibly the best game on the GameCube as far as uh, gameplay goes, graphics. You know, this this game's awesome. It, you might look at it and say, you know, that's just another first-person shooter, but, you know, this is not really a first-person shooter at all. Like, there's that kind of aspect to it, but it's just like classic Metroid, but it's all in the first-person perspective. You know, it's it's a first-person action-adventure platforming game. I, I would probably classify it as that more than I would a first-person shooter. But, you know, just... The feeling of isolation is there for this game, like like in the other Metroid games, and you know the the atmosphere of the levels and and everything about this game is just really awesome. But those are my uh, top three choices for the GameCube, and I hope you enjoyed our video. And thanks for watching.